Hey guys, these are the top 10 tips to make your hospital as efficient as possible in the second campaign of Project Hospital. Tip number one, build an elevator. There's only elevators in the main part of the hospital, which is the bigger building, and the smaller building can only be accessed by the suspended walkway. So what you're going to do is move the observation room a little to the right and line up the elevator with the upper floor's hallway. This will greatly reduce walking times, especially for the nurses. Tip number two, move the nurses station over to the smaller building. Since the observation post is on the bottom floor and the trauma centers are on the first floor, there's no need for the nurses to be all the way in the other building. So change the nursing station's position with the common room. Just make sure to put all the nurses back to work. Tip number three, change the layout. In the main building, you'll see that the doctor's offices for the emergency center are isolated in their own little part of the hospital. What you're going to want to do is either move one of the doctor's offices or reduce it into a smaller size or reduce the on-calls room size since emergency won't be needing that many doctors anyway. Tip number four. Emergency has two bathrooms, so make sure that you change one of them into the other departments. You'll see that radiology's bathroom is all the way on the other side of the hospital, so you can change radiology's bathroom to the first floor and leave that bathroom that's far away to be used as a general purpose bathroom for everyone in the hospital. Tip number five, make sure that you only hire the necessary amount of staff. You'll see that radiology has a lot of big equipment and expensive equipment, but this type of hospital doesn't need these machines to be working full time or at all. The only room that's essential to have working staff is the x-ray room on the third floor and maybe the room next to it. Tip number six, check the workload. You'll see that the doctors that work in the emergency department won't have that big of a workload since there's around four or five of them working at all times. But if you check the internal medicine department, you'll see that there's only one doctor's office. So consider building a second one. Tip number seven, identify the dependencies. Following tip number six, if you build a second doctor's office for the internal medicine department, you'll see that the next step is the diagnosis room. So even though you have two doctors that'll be attending a lot of patients, they'll just bottleneck on the next step. So make sure to always adapt the dependency tree and according to your initial changes. Tip number eight, focus on the current mission. So this campaign will have two types of missions. You'll either have to have a certain amount of patients per day, or you'll need to have a certain amount of profit per day. So if you're trying to finish the patient missions, make sure that you overstaff your hospital so it doesn't bottleneck anywhere. And if you're trying to finish the profit missions, make sure that you fire any non-essential personnel. Tip number nine, prestige. As your prestige gets higher, more people will come to the hospital that are not part of the life insurance. One of the easiest ways to do this is by raising your patient's comfort, which can be done just by upgrading the hospital beds. Tip number 10, the money trick. Make sure that you always keep an eye on the amount of money that you have. Let's say you're going to build another diagnosis room and you don't have enough money to do so. You can still use the pre-molded option that the game gives you. If you have $5 in your account, you'll go into the negative, but you won't take out a loan. So make sure to abuse this as much as possible. Bonus tip, ICU. Make sure that you only build an ICU when you really need to. You'll see that patients will start being transferred to other hospitals because they won't have access to it. And since you already have two ambulances, you'll probably get a lot of patients that need it. But it's a big investment early on. Make sure to abuse the money trick when building the main part of the ICU. Well guys, I hope these tips help you out. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this.